Alright, up bow. Alright. Let's talk about falls. Up bow, come in. Do -do. Up. Okay, I'm gonna come up. Up! What? So, there's gonna be a quick rushing forward of the flyer when they. It's essentially doing this on someone's feet. This wow. position. This is called bow, right? Yeah. And if the feet aren't right or the, the flyer isn't controlling the position, the torso is going to rush back towards you really violently, really quickly. Your heads could butt. So really key for basing this one is very essential. This is something I teach all the time. It looks really ugly at first with these hands up. It look, doesn't look pretty. But once you're really stable, then you can bring your hands out and take a pretty picture. Cool. Safety-wise, keep those hands up. Okay. okay, placement. Hands down, right? I'm getting to bird first. This is too far, okay? This is too close. Distance. Feet placement, key. So usually where my, for dudes, where the pants meet their shirt is where the hip bone is. For this one, I recommend that the feet go a little higher because you're controlling a lot of their upper body weight with this position with your toes. So with the hip bone for this one, usually I say the ball of the feet, the middle of the foot for this one here. Middle of the foot there. And not wide like that, bring it in. Closer in is better, okay? You'll be heels. using your toes a lot to press up. And your heels will be aligned with our femurs. Mm -hmm. Deep breath in, I'm gonna come in. She's gonna bend a bit, I'm gonna come up to bird. Okay. Uh, Good. We'll try to keep our wrist underneath our shoulders here. Okay, I'm gonna try to come up and grab my feet. When I do that, all my body weight, because I'm taking my hands away, my body weight is pouring into this hand. She needs to keep the hand straight, engage her toes, press them back. I'm going to slowly grab this foot here. Okay, as I rise up, she'll keep pressing with the toes. Watch your toes. They're really engaging. I'm engaging my core. I'm smiling like I'm taking a poop. Looks like I'm taking a pretty picture. And it keeps my body tight. Once I grab here, I can, once I use my feet, I can use my feet to pull away and lift up. But when I do that, as I'm lifting up, once I pull my feet, my torso comes up. And then what, what happens is I'm going to fall off her feet this way, which is very safe because I'm landing back here. As long as I let go of my feet. Yeah. If I don't, I'm going to land on my knees. I can let go. So she noticed, watch Ami notice, as I'm lifting up, pulling away with my feet, my torso rises and I'm going to drop back this way. So at that exact moment, the timing is very key. When she starts feeling my body lift, she has to ease off the gas again and keep her feet flat. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because at first you want to raise my torso up, but once I grab my feet and pull away, I'm lifting my own torso up. She has to ease off the gas, keep it flat again. Okay, again. <laughs> Watch the way I look. You go where you look. If you look this way, your whole body is going to rush this way. Let's go. You're a bird, right? Bird, you're going to look up. Make a poopy face. Watch this. As I raise, the engine can ease off. And the slower I lift up, easier it is for her to adjust. Okay. Anytime I fall, my hands come out. The hands come down as a flyer, okay? okay? And our hands keeping supporting me helps ease with that fall too. So that's great. Well, so this one's, off the gas. this one's real key with the toes and the stuff. Ideally, you want to give more gas because if they fall back, it's safer than falling forward. So the moment they pull up, you want to ease off the gas, but not too much. So playing with that balance is something that you'll learn. The more you base, you'll be able to gauge how much and how little. But the key is as the flyer, the, the, the less she adjust as a flyer and the slower and more controlled they adjust themselves the easier it is for the base to adjust yeah yeah toby okay let's give it a try and then ask questions